to let you know about someone that I found out about only about 12 months ago. And I've sort of heard of him before, but it, it never really clicked or I probably just wasn't ready to know about it. But his name is Edward Mandel House. And he was the, um, the founder, one of the founders, or the mastermind behind the US Federal Reserve. He's also a Jesuit and he grew up on a plantation. And the synonym to a plantation is colony, which is really a slave ship, a form of a slave ship, a form of slavery. And uh, he was around, he wound up being also the, um, the advisor for Woodrow Wilson in the 1920s for the United States um, president. But they had a falling out in the end because Woodrow Wilson felt that he was deceived by Edward Mandel House and the US Federal Reserve. And after their falling out, they never spoke to each other again or Woodrow Wilson refused to ever speak to Mandel House, Edward Mandel House again. But um, being a Jesuit <laughs> and probably heavily involved in the Masonic system, he knew the art of conversion and also the craft of banking. And I guess that's why he was the mastermind behind the, the US Federal Reserve. But he wrote an article well, or he didn't write the article, but there was something in the minutes said where he was speaking to Woodrow Wilson. And it just gives you an idea of the mindset behind um, this man and the US Federal Reserve and the system that governs the United States all of its corporations and everything else, probably since the 1920s. And even Hitler, I mean, they say it was, you know, the German people, but it sort of looks like that even Hitler was backed by large United States corporations, not necessarily United States of America. This is the United States, which is a probably a Vatican-based, corporate, water law-based international system that's uh, usurped itself like the serpents do <laughs> into the United States of America, into the United States of America, and they call themselves the United States, wrote it in a all uppercase D-based Latin and created a copy or a quasi of the real thing. I think that was done in order that the people never really um, cottoned on the difference between the real United States and the quasi-United States. So it gave the people of America the, uh, the impression that uh, they were serving their own country when maybe, in fact, they were serving international foreign uh, bankers. <laughs> this is something that Edward Mandel House said to Woodrow Wilson. Very soon, every American will be required to register their biological property, that's you and your children, in a national system designed to keep track of the people, and that will operate under the ancient system of pledging, <laughs> contracting. By such methodology, we can compel people to submit to our agenda, which will affect our security as a charge back for our fiat paper currency. You probably remember in the birthing certificate um, video, the last one I did, I explained the two houses where they shift you or convert you from the creditor into the debtor and then you pay back the creditor. You pay back yourself but because you were changed from debtor from creditor to debtor and you didn't know about it then really 
you're returning the money to the agent. And because you never came back, the agency kept the money. <laughs> I'll keep going. <laughs> Every American would be forced to register or suffer being able to work and earn a living. They will be our chattels, property, and we will hold the security invest we will hold a security interest over them forever. Because you'll never know, you'll never come back. You'll never be able to reclaim your um, asset, your birthright. They will be our chattels, our property which is, and we will hold the security interest over them forever by operation of law merchant under the scheme of secured transactions. Americans, by unknowingly or unwittingly delivering the bills of laden, which is the birth certificates it says here, to us will be, re will be rendered bankrupt and insolvent, secured by their pledge. They'd be affected by the contract. They will be stripped of their rights and given a commercial value designed to make us a profit and they will be none the wiser as you are not because you're holding the wrong birth certificate. <laughs> For not one man in a million, not one man in a million, this is what Edward uh, Mandelhaus is saying, for not one man in a million uh, could ever figure out our plans. And if by accident one or two should figure it out, we have in our arsenal plausible deniability. After all, this is the only logical way to fund government by floating liens and debts to the registrants in the form of benefits and privileges. This will inevitably reap us huge profits beyond our wildest expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud. Now he's saying there it's the only way they can do it, yet it's going to reap huge profits that they will never even be able to understand. <laughs> And he admits it's a fraud. So it's a fraud against the people of their national countries. It's a fraud by the international bankers over the nationality of the people of their own lands. It's, it's a piracy. It's to rob the treasury of the people. This will inevitably reap us huge uh, profits beyond our wildest expectations and leave every American a contributor to this fraud, which we will call social insurance. Without realizing it, every American will unknowingly be our servant. That's a slave. However, begrudgingly, the people will become helpless and without any hope for their redemption. And we will employ the high office presidency of our dummy corporation, USA, in all caps, to form, to, uh, to foment this plot against America. A plot against America. This was an article, or well, this was the words said to President Wilson, Woodrow Wilson by Edward Mandelhaus, the Jesuit Masonic, the Jesuit Masonic con man, the man behind the US Federal Reserve, the man that was birthed or born onto or into a plantation. And even a plantation on United States soil is something that's alien to the country. And it was he, him, the mastermind of the US Federal Reserve and his mindset and his agenda to rape the national countries, the nationalism, the, the, um, the wealth, the birthright of countries. 
through this water law or Vatican uh, Roman style corporate system where they corporatise everything and then through the corporate system they then plunder the wealth of a nation and siphon the, uh, the, the proceeds or the profits into offshore bank accounts and offshore simply means into accounts that are, are not on land. Democracy and the need for war to kill the creditor. The system agenda, which is a three-way trust, the office of the creditor, the office of the debtor, and the office of the administrator. In trust law, if the creditor passes away without a will, the estate of the creditor legally becomes the property of the trustee agent. If you are converted from creditor into a debtor in a trust law setup without knowing and you pass away as the debtor, you will have no will in the standing of the creditor. Your birthright security, mineral and energy wealth of your country granted to the agent trustee counterfeit government will legally fall into the hands of the foreign administrative agent trustee. If the administrative agent administrating your lands is not the real de jure government of your country, you may have granted your birthright security to a foreign dummy quasi unknown entity. It may be in the best interest of such a hidden usurping foreign administrative agent to cause war and conflict in order to get the debtors to kill each other before each debtor becomes aware that he or she was always the creditor but was deceived and converted into the debtor by such a foreign trustee agent. Once the creditor is dead and never returns to redeem his birthright estate granted as security for the loans for the administrative counterfeit trustee agent. Such a foreign administrative trustee agent legally takes the equity, mineral and energy wealth of the birthright granted to the false banking trustee agent as the security for the loans granted to the very people that unwittingly granted and secured them in the first place. The piracy theft of common land and the national assets, treasury of the people, has been completed, transferring such mineral and energy wealth into the hands of the foreign globalism, globalist banking agenda for free. This is the Vatican Babylon quasi-false god. So that's why Edward Mandel House, only about a year ago, became of so much interest to me because that is the agenda behind the whole corporate US federal law system from all I can see. And it's backed up by the deception in the writing the, where they've usurped the United States of America and written it in an all uppercase debased language. That gives the false impression that it's the United States of America and that false impression gives the people of America and the people of the world, the people of their real de jure countries, the belief, the false belief that they serve their country when in fact they serve a foreign banker. They serve people like this man here. You know, the mastermind behind the banks that have pirated our lands, our countries. <laughs> and it's all just through a trick, a deceit, a cheating. So that's Edward Mandel House. I thought I should share that with you. Just so, so you know the agendas, the mindset behind these people that are raping and plundering our national governments. And today, not only that, they blame the nationals for all of the violence and the so-called terrorism in the world. Yet the globalists are the ones that create the terror in order to blame us for it, for their own agenda. Remember, a globalist agenda, they don't have lands. They're global. They don't have lands. 
they've stolen everyone else's land. So it's really, and that's why they operate in the corporate world. It's the only way they can operate because they don't have the ability to operate in a common law system while operating within the boundaries of corporations, which are really just shipping, shipping law, contract law, merchant contracts. So there it is, Edward Mandel House, a, um, <laughs> a true, a true white collar. Yep, even a white collar, white collar pirate, <laughs> pirating the the, um, the birthrights of the people of the world.